Get out of here, please. Hi there, welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So I decided today was the day to do a harvest of my sweet potato plant. So way back in January, I purchased a couple sweet potatoes and grew some slips off of them, got them rooted in water, got them planted in some dirt. This grew in my grow tent for a couple months and then I moved it outdoors here in the spring. So it's just been sitting on my patio looking like a nice uh, patio plant here. I'm not too optimistic that there's actually gonna be any sweet potatoes, but apparently it takes about 180 days uh, normally, and these have been growing since January. So we're at, I mean, six, seven months already. So we are just going to dump them into my wagon here and see if we get any sweet potatoes. Henderson, you wanna come help me? The dog's going to have to get restrained. Henderson is here to help me with the reveal today. He also has been helping me harvest our regular potatoes. He's been a big help in my garden all summer long. Big one. So he's excited to help me out here today to see if we get any sweet potatoes. Yeah. Okay, you want to go and stand on the other side? So I guess we'll just dump it out into this wagon here and we will see if there's any potatoes. Okay, potatoes. So these are sweet potatoes, not the same as the other potatoes. Do you want to just try pulling one out maybe and see what happens first? Just grab that and give it a tug. See if there's anything there. They're kind of like a root, I think, that wraps around. Hmm. Not seeing anything yet. We'll pull it out. Oh, 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 look at here. You know what that is? Yeah. It's a sweet potato. Do you think we can get much of a meal out of that? No potatoes. No potatoes? <laughs> These are sweet potatoes. They're a little bit different. And no potatoes. Ah. No potatoes, eh? This is the biggest plant. Maybe we'll get something out of here. Okay, pull. Oh. oh whoops. No potatoes. There's a potato right there. Do you think that looks like a potato? A sweet potato. Sweet potato. No potato. We got one more plant here. Let's give it a try. Okay. Uh oh. We'll try dumping out the dirt. Maybe there's more. Yeah, that dirt. Oh, I think I seen one. Oh! Wow! Pull that one out. That's pretty good. My potatoes. Let's see. Oh. No <laughs> Where's a pretty good one? And no potato. Those are potatoes. Yeah, they are. I'm actually very surprised that they are growing way down here. Way down here? Yeah. I think we'll be able to cook these up tonight. And no skinny. Here, I'll just dump the whole thing. Oh. Wow. Look at it. There's all sorts of weird things growing down here. Big one. Let's rip this apart. Okay. On oh, the Yep. Yeah, quote it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, look at oh. That's the this is the winner, I think. Say, a wow, big one. that's a big one. Yeah, two one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, another one. Wait. Oh, hey, baby. Oh, pretty good size one there. The big one. Okay, well, let's put all of our potatoes together here. Grab all the potatoes. Put them in a pile. Okay. 
So here is a look at the final harvest of our sweet potatoes that we grew just in a pot this size. Yeah. So they're not super big, but it was just an experiment that I wanted to try. Growing sweet potatoes in a cold climate is pretty challenging because they need a long growing time and they like lots of heat. But I would say this is successful. So if you ever want to try growing them in a container, Here? probably a bigger container would produce yes. bigger sweet potatoes. Sweet. But I think we'll take these indoors and try what? cooking them up. So after giving these a good scrubbing, I just took some olive oil, salt and pepper, some paprika, stirred it all up and put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20-25 minutes and they roasted up really good. So we gave Henderson the first chance at the taste test and he refused to eat them. No. But I tried them in some <laughs> sriracha mayo dip and they were delicious. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.